Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for mm, around the 13th, 14th, 15th, something like that. Timing is fluid. So we're just going to see what comes up. This reading may or may not be for you. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy and one of these, and we're going to use this deck right here. So what do we got for the upcoming energy? What do I, what kind of reading do I need to deliver today? I have a new deck coming that I designed. Well, I didn't really design it. I took pictures. I did have somebody make our, or, well, illustrate a couple pictures for me that are in the deck. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it. I'm just getting my first uh, draft delivered to me this week. So I am going to do a reading on it. It's an oracle deck. It's called Intuition. They're intuition cards. Um, so yeah, you might get a sneak peek after I uh, finish my singles segment for February. I will use those cards for intuition readings. So the, the, I will be doing readings based on my intuition with just those cards that I created. So let's get started. What do we got? Oh, Six of Blades reversed. This is the Six of Swords reversed. Now this is refusing to take a new approach, resisting a transition, resisting change. Uh, something could get turned upside down because somebody is in a, in a state of resistance, okay, with the Six of Swords reversed. Okay, Sixes are the journey to balance and harmony, but this Six is reversed, so somebody needs to get their life back on track. They're not making the right choice. They need to reevaluate what they're doing. It's a time of reevaluation. You know, we may have somebody here that is um, focused on something that is bringing them backwards and they need to let it go so that they can move forwards. Um, somebody is in a troublesome situation that they, it's like they are refusing to get out of it. They are refusing, okay? They, maybe they, they like being on thin ice. You know, that could certainly be the case. Uh, there's going to be a fall, okay? There's going to be a fall, and it's probably going to be a hard fall, okay? Because you, if you, when, if you, the longer you refuse, the harder the fall, okay? So there's going to be a, a hard fall of some sort. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Adjacent possibilities, which 2 plus 4 equals 6. So now we basically have two sixes reversed. So definitely somebody is refusing to go through a new door. They're not seeing the mult the other possibilities. If somebody is closed off. Um, and it's because they are attached. They are attached to something. So you need to let go of that attachment and, and get out of that troublesome situation as, as, as hard as it is. Um... We definitely have somebody here that is basically refusing to see. They're refusing to see that there's other opportunities. They're refusing to see a way out. They're really staying in a uh, situation that is going to get them hurt, okay? They're, it's going to get them hurt. You know, they may even end up in the hospital because they are refusing to accept change, okay? Um... It's almost like somebody could get hurt. Reluctant to take a new approach. Judgment. Now, this is about a judgment call, right? It's about accepting the truth, seeing the truth. This is awakening, a wake-up call. So somebody is going to get a wake-up call. Um, there's a need to uh, make sure that you are judging a situation correctly. I feel as though with these two cards, we have somebody that is not. They are not judging a situation collect correctly, but there's going to be some sort of epiphany or truth or revelation that probably causes them to wake up. 
okay? Um, a secret is about to be revealed when you get the judgment card. Something has been hidden. This is also a card of karma. Something to do with the past could be coming back to haunt you. Okay? It's time to live. This is something to do with the past. Something to do with the past that is coming back to haunt you. King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is somebody that is very decisive and matter of fact. Now, this is somebody that is doing some sort of an investigation. They are doing their homework. This person has put a lot of time and effort into making a decision. And it feels as though a decision is about to be made. Somebody is making a judgment call. We could be even be dealing with a judge or somebody in the area of law. Okay, this could be a law official or somebody that is um, in, in an authoritative position, position that is making a judgment call or they are making a decision. Oh, you think about judgment, that's a final, at the judgment day is final, okay? It's a final decision. So somebody is about to make a final decision. The investigation has been underway. And it's like now the truth is about to come out, okay? This is it. Judgment day is the final decision. It's It's time. It's time. Somebody has been in a really bad place. And they and perhaps they've been refusing. Maybe they need to go to the hospital. Maybe they need some help. Uh, maybe they need to go through a new doorway. They need to go down a new path. And they're just refusing it. Hmm. Four of Swords. Not a very beautiful card. Okay, the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is, is you know, it's a time to withdraw. It's a time for recuperation. It's a time for rest. Somebody has been feeling dead inside. They're holding on to an old idea or an old way. This could also be the death of a person. The time is up, okay? And if you don't get help, you could, and I know people don't want to hear this shit, but you know who you're talking to, right? Somebody could end up, you know, they could die from these circumstances if they don't get help you know this is a very grave situation that needs to be dealt with so this is a judgment call that is being made based on a situation that is not healthy okay the time is just about up Okay, to talk, the clock has been ticking and somebody's not getting better they're not getting any better and it's like they need help they need, maybe they need a doctor, <laughs> you know, or, and it's funny. It feels like there's somebody could fall. They could get hurt. Um, somebody, it, or they have been hurt. But the king of swords is somebody that investigates, does their homework. Somebody that is very wise. Somebody that is in an authoritative position that, um, has really thought about. What is the right thing to do? What is the right thing to do here? Seven of Pentacles. Something could be coming to the surface that you dealt with seven years ago. Okay. Um, this is like, this is your past. Definitely coming. Somebody's past is coming back to haunt them. And it's not in a good way. Just so you know. Um, say you, you, uh, did something seven years ago and it was very unhealthy now you're seeing what that did that's just an example okay um somebody didn't take care of business there's unfinished business here they didn't nurture a situation they didn't uh they weren't practical they were unreasonable there's there's a level of dissatisfaction here there's a there's lack of growth there's lack of something is is dead okay there's no more growth here it's time to pack up and go someplace else or it's near death you know there's no more growth to be had it's time to go someplace else so this is the de deciding decider the person making the decision the decision is clear there's no growth here
It's Judgment Day with that Judgment card. There could be some abandonment issues. Somebody may have been abandoned or neglected with the Five of Pentacles reversed. This is total ruin. Perhaps. This is an unhealthy situation. But it feels like we have a turning point that is coming up. This is getting help. Help may be arriving. After somebody has been in a dreadful situation, somebody may have been a victim of a circumstance and now there's some sort of help arriving. There could even be sirens. <laughs> I just saw sirens. I don't know where that came from. You know, it's, this could be, and I, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but this could be a really serious situation where somebody needs help immediately. There's definitely some poor health here. The magician, the magician reversed is manipulation, lies, deceit, power and control, ego. We have a very tricky, cunning individual here who is very skilled at deception. They're very skilled at lying. This is a liar. But this person can see right through a love of the lies, okay? We have a very, in, this person is very intelligent. I think this person is a law official or a protector or a director or somebody that is has a lot of experience that is, is, is well-educated. This person is well-educated, well-read. This person is wise. You can't pull the wool over this person's eyes. So we have a very wise individual here that is seeing somebody's lies. They are seeing some deception. They are seeing that somebody isn't, isn't being realistic. They're seeing that something isn't growing or hasn't grown. And it's time to relocate. It's time to go someplace else. Somebody has definitely been trying to manipulate. And they've been trying to lie their way out of a situation. But the time is up. The time is up because this person is, you can't lie to this person. They are too smart. This person is too wise. This person is very, you know, this person, I don't know if it's a judge or somebody like that, but this person has been put in this position of authority because of their hard work, because of their experiences, because of their dedication. So we have a very dedicated individual. This person is dedicated in you know, bringing law and order to situations. That's who this person is. So there's maybe some legal issues that are coming into play here. There's, this is, because this is karma and this is judgment. So there's like a, there's like a, a final judgment or a final decision being made in regards to a very tricky situation. Definitely tricky. There's been a neglect and abandonment here and somebody is very ill. But this is the end of an idea, okay? So this is over. The time is just about up. The judgment is about to be made. The truth is about to be seen. This is the truth by this individual who is, uh, you cannot pull the wool over this person's eyes, okay? So, hmm. could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person um, is very cunning, very attractive, very much focused on their image. Um, this person is very proud and determined to be successful. And they, it feels like this person, I'm not sure if this person is ill or this person, this person doesn't look very happy. 
lying. Somebody is lying. The seven of swords. They are deceiving this, this person. You know, I was clarifying this. We have somebody here that is lying. This person is up to no good. They haven't been telling the truth. And they think that they are getting away with it. And I think that they think that they are getting away with it because they're attractive. You know, they think that, you know, they're very confident. They may be even overly confident. This person may feel like, you know, as long as they look good, that's all that matters. There's definitely some lies and some deception here. We have somebody here that is definitely not telling the truth. And they, they're thinking that they are getting away with it. But this person can see. This person can see that there's lies. So we have somebody here that um, this, this whole deceptive situation is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. This person may end up heartbroken because, you know, karma, net, karma works in mysterious ways. This is all about karma. The very first card is a major karma card. Okay, so karma is coming to pay somebody a visit. Okay. Their time of, the time is up. The time of lying and deceiving and pretending and uh, thinking you're getting away with murder is over. Okay, it's over. So, hmm. Two of Cups. We have some sort of uh, perfect match that is coming together. This is a union. This is a uh, partners. This is... A new opportunity to work with somebody because it's a new uh, union of some sort this is this is uh... karma is because he's mirroring each other is bringing two people together there is or, or this could be this could be because a judgment it can also be somebody that has passed away okay somebody could, that has passed away could be bringing two people together there this is a union two people that are meant to be together are going to be together they are being guided together they are and this may mean that the only way that these two people can be together is for some this is this is an this is a this is an ending. Okay, the Four of Swords is an ending. And the Judgment card is also a card of release. Okay, so you got to release. You have to release something that isn't growing, that isn't practical, that isn't realistic, that has abandoned you, that has been uh, neglectful, that has cheated you, that has deceived you, you have to release that to come together with the person that you are meant to be with. They're trying to bring two people together that are meant to be together, but there's been so many lies and deceptions and tricks and, and so much sneaky behavior. We have, a, we have a real big, huge liar here. Seriously. This person is so cunning and they really have a huge self-image problem. And it's like this, this, this person is really holding on to a dead end, trying to hold on to a dead end. It's like they're trying to uh, deceive everybody around them. And maybe they're trying to do that because they've been disgraced or because of their ego, because of their pride. This is about somebody that, that, that is, is very prideful. And I feel like this prideful person is getting some sort of awakening, you know, for, for trying to... It feels like this person was very selfish. I feel like this person was selfish. This person was very uh, greedy. Okay, that's how I feel. I feel like that definitely this person was very much... Um, very selfish. Selfish is the word that I that is really plaguing me. We have a very selfish individual here that has been holding somebody back. They've been holding them somebody back, but based on their own desires, their own their own needs. Okay, their own thoughts, their own ideas. Not really thinking outside the box. They've been letting their own. Uh, It's like self-righteous, you know, it's all about me, 
You know, we were very, the same thing, selfish. We were a very selfish individual that it feels like this person has been really um, doing anything that in their power, anything in their power to keep control of a situation, even if it means um, hurting another person. Anyway, um, there is going to be some sort of judgment call that is made. Some truth is about to be revealed from somebody that is in an authoritative position that has a lot of experience behind their back that is going to see right through the lies. They're going to see right through the deception. They're going to see right through the, the tricks and the schemes. This person has been scheming. And it feels like this person is very ill because this person is ill. This is ill. This person is very, very ill. Um, they're going to see the illness. They're going to see that this person needs help. Somebody may be sent to rehab. They may be sent to the hospital. They may be sent away because they're ill. They're ill. And it feels like somebody is going to see that. But this is, I mean, the Two of Cups is a partnership, is a union. You know, it's, it's um, a connection or that needs, that is going to happen that comes from this. Two people are going to come together once this deception is revealed. And I know that's hard to fathom, but there's some sort of lies, there's some sort of cheating, there's some sort of deception that is, is going to come to an end, okay, it's going to come to an end, the time is up, These it's over, the lies, the deception, the tricks, the schemes, it's over, it's done, okay, it, and it feels like somebody is, is, um, forced to get help with the five of pentacles reversed and maybe while they're getting help they unite with somebody that they are meant to be with you know somebody that's on the same level that somebody's on the same page somebody that you know is meant to be in their life at this time it could be somebody from a past life it could be a past life uh connection here because of that judgment card this is a this this is I mean there could be you know a past life reconciliation with somebody that you have never met before but you've met them in a past life okay this is definitely somebody from the other side as well that is is bringing about this this uh, massive it is massive it's a massive uh, truth that is coming out and whether it is the uh, the planetary aspects or not okay this is some sort of uh, truth that is about to be revealed that is going to um, cause somebody to pack up and leave a situation whether uh, maybe even against their will I'm sorry to say that okay there could be somebody that is making this decision for you put it that way whether it's you or you may be on the outside watching this happen to somebody in your circle put it that way somebody's about to fall there's going to get hurt or or something like that something is going to happen and there's going to be some sort of decision that is made it's going to be like this it's final i see the truth this is the truth you can't hide the truth and this may go back seven years this could go back five years it could go back 20 years okay there is some sort of past life karma or in this lifetime karma that is coming back to haunt somebody okay there's been a lot of lies there's been a lot of deception there's been a very um, a lot of manipulation of power struggles um, has somebody's been having a hard time accepting they've been because this is a card of acceptance and release they've been having a really hard time doing so but it feels like you know there's no choice it feels like the decision is made and you don't have a choice just being honest with you this is over it's over now somebody i mean this is the death of an idea or a person so you know if you don't get help now there it could lead to something much worse okay but this could also be i'm just going to be honest with you with the judgment card here and this four of swords this could be somebody actually you know You know, you know, <laughs> just saying it could be. And that could bring a, some sort of reconciliation with somebody from their past. Okay, just saying there could be a reconciliation with somebody from the past here. There absolutely could be. Whether somebody passes away and reconciles with somebody. I mean, I hate to say that, but it's what I got. Okay. Um... 
I do feel like there is somebody that has been watching. They've been watching this whole tricky situation. They've been watching the lies. They've been watching the deceit. And it's time. So good luck. One cycle is ending and a new one is beginning. Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye because this was reversed. Somebody hasn't learned their lesson and maybe they're going to come back again to learn it again. Good luck. I think there's going to be an abrupt ending. Good luck.